Hello, and welcome to another Jurassic Park video. Today I'm going to talk about the sick Triceratops and to find out how it got sick. As we remember from the film, Grant and the others came across a sick Triceratops. Dr. Harding explained that the trike suffers from imbalance, disorientation, and labored breathing every six weeks. So the big question on everyone's minds was, how did the Triceratops get sick? Ellie suggests that the trike ingested West Indian lilac, which is a poisonous berry, but Dr. Harding assured her that the trikes don't eat them. To be sure, Ellie examined the dinosaur's dung for traces of lilac berries, but to no avail. She couldn't find any traces of lilac berries. The film proceeds and the mystery remains unsolved. On screen, that is. In a deleted scene that you can still find in the film's novelization and trading cards, it would have been explained that the Triceratops actually swallows stones to help it break down food. These were called gastroliths, which are also known as gizzard stones. When the Triceratops would eat these stones, it would accidentally eat the lilac berries as well which in turn would make the Triceratops sick. Eventually, the trikes would spit up these stones and would need to replace them. This likely happened every six weeks, so when it ate new stones, it would eat the berries again and get sick again. The reason why Ellie didn't find any lilac berries in the dung was because the traces were so small, and with the dung piles being as big as they were, it'd be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Also in this deleted scene, Tim and Ellie would find one of these gizzard stones and piece the puzzle together. There's even a photo of Ellie and Grant high-fiving each other after they solve the mystery. But that's not all. If you look closely when Ellie offers to stay with Dr. Harding, you can see her holding what appears to be a rock, or more specifically, a gizzard stone. So part of that deleted scene I mentioned earlier actually managed to sneak its way into the film. It's kind of funny. This scene was included in every other form of media except the actual movie itself. But regardless, it's still a memorable scene of a magnificent animal. And that's a wrap for another Jurassic Park video by Jeremy James Prutchik. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this little video. I'd really like it if you could share this video with your friends. And I'd really, really like it if you could subscribe to me as well. I promise I have lots of content on the way for you. See you next time.